Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Am sorry, Pink Diamond, Jerry Sloan. I'm really excited to try out this Jerry Sloan card, see how good he is at the um, shooting guard position of my team, because this card looks so really shockingly souped. I guess he is a Pink Diamond, so I should have expected him to be good, but he looks like a dog. Like, I'm really excited to try this card out, the shooting guard, see how good he is. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 18,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Oh, one other thing. Massive shout out to my boy Hibachi. Appreciate him letting me use his account to record this Jerry Sloan gameplay. Um, wouldn't be able to do it without all you who let me use y'all accounts at times for these videos. I'd really appreciate it a lot. Without further ado. Okay, Jerry Sloan is 6'5 at shooting guard, so he's small, but he's 94 offense, 99 defense. He's an incredible defender, but he's also really good offensively. 90 driving layup, 96 midi, 92 three ball, 90 free throw, 80 driving dunk is an incredible, but 86 ball handle, 88 block, 96 steel, 97 perimeter, 90 interior, 90 speed, 89 speed with ball, 88 excel, 97 lateral quickness, uh, 88 vert, 85 strength, 97 stamp. So he can hold his own defensively at a very high level. Half blinders, catch and shoot corner specialist, green machine guard at midi magician, slippery off ball, anchor challenger clamps glove interceptor off up has spot finder fast feet right stick gripper 94 feet he has all the next gen defensive badges except for i guess a movable enforcer hoff anchor uh, and shooting badges as well on hall of fame he looks crazy hoff or he's got gold agent three dead eye and limitless range as well so he's got all the shooting badges he needs literally bailout and break starter as well unplockable uh pick dodger post lockdown two step three points blow by bulldozer he has everything you could possibly ask for with the exception of one badge, and admittedly, it is a pretty important badge. I do not believe that Jerry Sloan has speed booster. I am checking to make sure right now. No, he does not. I think, that being said, you can add it to him. The fire part about these collector level cards is that you actually can add badges to them. All of the badges they need, which is so nice. So you can add a movable enforcer. You can add speed. Well, actually, you can't add a movable enforcer because that's not a badge you can get. But you can add speed booster. You can add all the badges that you can actually get. Brick wall, uh, rebound chaser, handles for days, rise up, posterizer. He needs some good badges for sure. There's a, several key badges. Speed booster, handles for days, I'd say are the main two. But there's a couple of them that he definitely could use posterizer as well that would really help him out as a overall card but if you get those badges on him i mean he's six five and really good defensively let's see what his movement looks like what is his uh push cross uh not terrible okay we can we can work with that john wall step back really good size up that will work for sure love that um let's see what his release looks like i should think it should be pretty good it is very nice okay so jerry sloan's a dog because he's an elite defender he's got really solid movement uh yeah no this card is really nice his burst is a little interesting it attacks the rim very aggressively i just made a white dunk that's kind of crazy but his release is nice like he does a lot of things really well you add speed booster and handles for days on this card he's going to be a much better playmaker than he is right now i think he's got a good fade as well let's check and see what that fade is looking like um yeah not bad it's not incredible it's a little slow i guess eh, it's not eh, it's pretty good actually is that pro 2 I think he's got Pro 2 Fade. That is really, really nice. Love that Fade for Jerry Sloan. No, this card's really good. With how good his shooting badges are, uh, the fact that he can get every badge added, and how good he is defensively, I think Jerry Sloan's an absolute beast. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what he can do. All right, going up against Lamelo, PG, LeBron, AD, and Hakeem. Um, good opponent. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little worried about the shot creation in this game simply because uh, Jerry Sloan does not have the badges with handles for days and speed booster missing to really be a great shot creator, especially against a very good defender with great length like Paul George has. So it limits him a little bit. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean he's not capable. I just got to the rim and I should have finished that. That's on me. That's again, that poster badge is going to help upgrade his badges a little bit and you will be helped out in that area, but it's okay. Good defense here. We got to switch this. We got to switch this now. Okay. Send a double, please. Or go, yo, please go help him. Please go help him. And that's an and one. Well, we helped too much. We fouled him. That's unfortunate. Not a good start there. I should have had a stick dunk and I mistimed it totally on me. I had a big enough green window to where I definitely should have hit it. And I didn't. It's on me. But I do like the fact that he is a very capable slasher. He moves pretty well. And then defensively, he's incredible, but he's got such good shooting ability as well. Elite fade uh, with, with, I mean, this, his release isn't incredible, but his shooting badges are really good. He's got an amazing fade, like I said. And as I missed the fade, why? open okay well uh, I, of course i say he's got an elite fade and then i absolutely shank it that's kind of embarrassing but honestly par for the course good defense here let's play some d jerry uh hopefully he attacks attack jerry sloan 
Yeah, attack him because he's a white dude. Please, please do. Please do. He doesn't know if he's good defensively or not. Please throw that back door. Please go up on Jerry Sloan. I got Hoff Anchor. Please do it. Yep, please do it. Imagine. Imagine Jerry Sloan ever watching that. This card is he plays D, bro. Uh, please attack me. Please attack me. It's not going to end well for you. Oh, my. And he still gets a dunk. Can we get a rebound, Wimby? What is going on, man? Down five to nothing. I love to see the defense out of Jerry Sloan, though. You see right there, he is going to get active on the defensive end of the court. Legitimately one of the better defensive wings in the game right now. That's really Really good X switch, honestly. I don't even know if that was actually him X switching it, but burst here, attack downhill, hit a prop, catch and shoot. SGA is open and I miss it. I suck. Okay, well, I just am bad at the game. I'm not even sure what to say at this point. Missing uh, stick dunks, missing open threes, missing everything, just not playing great at all. You know who is playing great, though? Jerry Sloan on the defensive end of the court is absolutely on one. I mean, he is something special on the defensive end of the court, so at least there's that. Wimby is the softest I used to. Bro. Wimby is so inconsistent. I don't even know what to say. Like, he can't get a rebound. He can't get a paint stop on dudes who are six foot eight. Like, Paul George, a six foot eight is huge in real life, but compared to Wimby, bro, like, make a play, Wimby, please, bro. He's like flipping it up in your face and you're just letting him throw it past you. Jerry Sloan gets to the rim, finally gets a dunk. I've wasted about 13 open shots, so uh, finally deserve, finally make a shot. There we go, but. I just have been really struggling this game. Defensively, though, I do think Jerry Sloan has been amazing. I've been very impressed um, as he finally gets a good offensive play. That's a really nice hop step, though. I will give him a lot of credit. Really, his first defense or offensive success at all, actually, against Jerry Sloan. I hate the hard off ball that these dudes are playing with these days, but we'll take a standing. Jerry Sloan gets another dunk inside. We'll take the bucket. If I could get off the screen a little cleaner, I could look for the fade. The also problem is at this point with no handles for days, he's starting to get a little tired with the ball in his hands, and that, again, the speed booster and the handles for days will help a lot when he does get those but right now he doesn't have them that's okay that's really good defense like look at his defense bro people don't are, aren't gonna see jerry sloan on the court and they're not gonna they're gonna think oh that card's a liability why is he running jerry sloan i'll show you why i'm running jerry sloan because he's a dog like if i had this card i would actually potentially if i had jerry sloan i would run him over run our test i actually believe that i just realized if you fully badge this card out i understand he's only six five with how good he is defensively and the way that his fade is and him having a very solid movement, obviously he doesn't, right now he's just, he's a, a skin of what he can be with speed booster and handles for days added basically. Because uh, those are two huge badges when it comes to playmaking. Um, with what he is defensively, like this card is a really, really good because, like, Ron Artest, Kawhi Leonard, guys like that at shooting guard don't have the shooting ability of this Jerry Sloan card. But Jerry Sloan does actually have legitimately good slashing ability. I understand his release isn't great. That's the one thing that throws me... Ah. It's the one thing I wasn't really thinking about, though, that does kind of throw me off is the fact that his just release is a good block. Oh, my goodness, SGA. Get the ball, though. Oh, we need it. Oh, there we go. We get our stop. We're in it. We have a chance here. We're down five. I know we started this game out actually pretty horribly, but I think we have a serious chance here to win this game. Um, so let's see what we can do. Reject the screen. Hit our corner. Adam Morrison. Pick and pop. I get a apparently a reach and foul on AD there. I guess that's free throws. We'll take it. Like, the problem, the one thing is the release is not as good. Like, Ron Artest has a much better standstill release. But the movement with the fade and the versatility defensively and the ability to get every badge at least makes him to where he's, like, right there in that conversation. If he had a slightly faster standstill release, I think he'd be that man. Because, honestly, he has everything else. Look at the... Oh, and I jumped! I jumped! Oh, my gosh. I'm selling. Oh, that's so annoying. That's actually not bad either. Like, I thought we had that. That was good. That was a stop, and I jumped. Did not mean to do it. It's on me. Um, it is what it is, and I'm going to take my... Oh, I tried to kick it to the corner with Wimby. I take my dunk, I guess. 55 seconds left. Got to find a way to get a stop. It is time for full court press Jerry Smalone. Um, Hoff, 94 feet. All the defensive badges in the world. Time for you to just go harass LaMelo Ball. Good defense. Come on, Jerry. I need a great defensive possession out of you. He's playing a masterpiece of one so far, and I need Wimby to make a play here. Wimby, you've been soft all game, but he's not soft when it matters. Let's go. Great defense. Great defense. Great defense. Let's freaking go. The Jerry Sloan effect is on full effect right here. Or fu full is on full display. That's what I'm trying to say. Dump it down. Out to up top. Giannis, catch and shoot. I need this one for three. Oh my. I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. I got the ball back somehow. Size up here. Attack downhill. Jerry Sloan in the corner. We're going to try to go pro two fade here or something. Go fade for me. Come on, Jerry. Oh, it's off two. I suck. How is that a 29 though? That does not feel like that should have been 29. I could have easily won this game, and Jerry Sloan, like I said, is better than he looked in this game when you badge him out. I understand he only had six points, but the defensive impact of this card, I understand we lost as well. 
The only buckets we scored, he got one really nice hop step. It was a great move. And then I jumped accidentally, and that gave up a bucket with LaMelo. Outside of that, it was a complete cage. He's an elite defender, one of the best defensive wings in the entire game. Like, he's one of the best defensive cards in the game, legitimately. And then offensively, he's got an amazing fade and amazing all-around offensive badges can get every badge. People aren't going to realize how good this card is, but he's a stud. He's really, really good. I think you could make an argument that he's as high as like the third best small forward in the game. Sorry, third best shooting guard in the game. So that is going to do it for this video. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.